Welcome back to the next round of Master Arena 4. We will continue now with Nifer. I guess it's, he's called Nifer against Fionor, playing a Timotheus, Timotheus account. And let's go into the game right now. First game, Team Runner. We have a Persians War here between Tim, uh, Fionor and Nifer. Not sure about uh, how much the players will like it. I'm not sure if Nifer is an Arena player or not. I think uh, Fionor for sure is not really one. Uh, like a classic Arena, arena player, I mean, doesn't mean he shouldn't, couldn't play arena. Let's go for the maps immediately and first thing we see pretty short distance between the, um, the players. Let's go for the golds here actually. Main gold in the back, main stone in the back. Awesome for Fionor here. Uh, second stone outside on the far side. This could be both Fionor's golds which would, which would really suck for him so he needs to go aggressive here probably. Uh, yeah most likely. Let's see. Check for a knife right here. Main stone forward, main gold on the far side. There's the second and third gold on the left hand side. So that's a lot better for him. Uh, not good but better. I guess the main gold for Fionor a lot better than for a knife or maybe not a lot but it's better let's see what else we have second stone safe in the back this is nice extra gold here for a knife as well let's see if he's going to scout or need it three deer inside as far as i can see we'll be able to lure them in easily i'm not sure how good knife is uh, what rating we have here i guess like uh, at least 18 plus not sure i really don't know it i couldn't find it out uh, that fast and I didn't really want to check. We have one trap cheap for him but I think he will continue to play it's not a big problem usually. Um, what else does the map give us? We have uh, three golds here of course which is very important but also two golds here. May even see castle drops. We have one relic on the left hand side, on the far left, one on the far side, two, three, four and number five closer to Nifer but I guess relics won't really make the biggest uh, point here. An extra gold and an extra stone on the south. Oh, uh, Nothing special. Three deer or maybe four I don't know. I guess four deer outside here for you know The villagers are starting to take that boar. Ooh, don't block your own will but uh, looks like you know has done loon shouldn't be a problem then to uh, get this village going here and the second boar ooh not a good boar not a good boar at all the first one wasn't good the second boar not good either uh, once the sheep is going down a little bit better but still it's too far away from the TC also uh, Fionor missing two sheep so does Nifer he may be able to find them Fionor may go for the sheep as well but he's first starting with the uh, the deer here it makes a lot of sense let's see if any player is going for barracks and then stables it's pretty likely to see that actually or maybe i don't know fionor can see the base from knife or knife i can see the base from fionor maybe we are actually going to see a castle drop here it's not really the best versions because battle, uh, the war defense really no not a good choice but uh, let's see maybe and I'm gonna go a little bit faster because there's not a lot of interesting things going to happen here I guess uh, Fionor is going to find two sheep knife found the sheep as well and ooh nice could actually hop this interesting so both sheep are free that wasn't even trapped Fionor going for the barracks and knife are going market blacksmith actually so Fionor is going aggressive here only one richer on gold a little bit surprising to me is that gonna be enough I guess so let's click the castle Sending more to go now. May see defensive siege workshop and Fionor going with the stable and the blacksmith most likely. Rest that one. Don't see it yet. Where's the blacksmith from, from Fionor? Ah, there it is. Didn't see it. Uh, so, knife for the first to go to Castle H. TC coming up on the wood line. That's TC number two and TC number three on the main gold. Uh, good TC spots, I guess. You want to protect this main gold and you want to have a TC on the woodland, really. Uh, usually it gives you a better economy. Both swords are coming in. Melkor, sorry, Melkor, Fionor. <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna uh, do that for a few times. I hope not. Fionor going with the monastery first. One TC coming up, as far as I can see, on the extra barriers. Nice, and the little the woodland. That's a good TC, in my opinion. He's gonna use that extra food that he has available. Oh, that's a good idea. So let's see. Do we have any knights or scouts? Actually, three scouts out on play, and the monastery is up. Fionor won't have uh, any troubles to get those relics in because we don't see any monastery or stables or siege workshops here for Nifer. Nifer is going for the pure boom apparently for now mini boom. Uh, technically, I guess three TCs is mini boom. I'm not too sure about it, but as far as I remember, usually three TCs is referred to as a mini boom here, and a full boom with four TCs. Uh, let's see. Of course, he should be having villagers 46 to 38, maybe even with eco upgrades. I'm not too sure. And at the same time, 
Fionor just going and collecting a lot of relics, and taking down the scout from Nifers, and now it's won't be a problem to get all the other relics as well. Full map control here for Fionor right now. A lot of gold in the bank, something it doesn't really uh, really any need. And the mining camp chasing the main stone. Four villagers, that's all right. Three as well. If you go more than four, maybe five, you could do that. But then you're gonna bump into uh, the villagers are gonna bump into each other, and you should have left one tile maybe. Wheelbarrow coming in from the knife from knife quite late, but uh, not sure about Fionor. And a siege workshop coming up. Siege workshop and university here for Knifer. I guess we are gonna see a relatively fast Imperial Age now from here on. Because 74 villagers and Persian Eco we know from the start is pretty good. So this boom should actually be pretty solid, also faster creation of the villagers. So barracks have the Siege Workshop University barracks up and knife clicking up to Imperial Age. At the same time, we do see knights and rams from Fionor uh, attacking, not even attacking before clicking up, but only while uh, clicking up, uh, uh, while going to Imperial Age. Knife uh, is going to be attacked here and going for the far side, actually going for the gate with the gold apparently. And also Fionor starting to deliver stone, but only three villagers, not gonna give him a castle very fast here. He's catching up on villagers and he's probably gonna be able to go up to Imperial relatively soon as well. Uh, for now we do see a little bit of walling here, and uh, that's not gonna hold for too long. Imperial Rich is done, let's see, do we see chemistry immediately? Yes, pikemen coming in, makes a lot of sense, standard halberdier, handgun near bombard cannons. Probably what we are expecting here. A uh, few more walls coming up, because you can't allow those knights to go in and stop your eco. From, from working, a few villagers being uh, garrisoned inside the TC. Halberdier on the way, chemistry almost finished, but only one or two range as far as I can see. No walls coming up, resources actually. There's another barracks now for first got three already, and is gathering the pikemen underneath the main TC. Halberdier now plus one defense. And of course, Fionor is gonna start and try to convert a few villagers, one being converted and going down at the same time. But I think Knifer is in a good position and looks like Fiona just clicked up to Imperial Age. Just wondering when was he gonna go up. Three stables and I guess he's gonna go with more knights. Now the Halberd is moving out and army numbers are okay-ish for Knifer here. He lost a few Halberdiers for the conversions but the knights will go down pretty fast. There's a bomber going to hit those ramps. And looks like Fiona is a little bit in trouble here. He's gonna lose his forward army. He may be able to save those knights. Plus two defense actually, go for Cavalier later on. Looks good for Knifer, he was able to defend his base, he was able to defend his main gold, a few idle villages here actually, but he's going for a lot of Halberdiers right now, and he may be able to switch into Hand Canyons as soon as he needs it, because we do see two other engines now, Hand Canyons are starting, number three and four coming on, on the right hand side, also a few bombard cannons and uh, Fionn was still waiting for the Imperial Age upgrade. He's got a lot of resources so he could easily click Cavalier and Paladin, but I'm not sure if that's actually the plan here. Squire's coming in from Knifer as well and the Siege Workshop is being attacked immediately, that's a good idea. What is Fionn going to do here? Did we see uh, Siege Workshop's coming up in the back? Chemistry, Petal Archer Armor not going for Cavalier. Where's the Knights from uh, Fionn actually? Did he lose them? You pull them back. I don't see it, but only one with the three left, so you must have lost them. Right so I have to get myself for a little. Now, more action is coming up. He wants to go for hand cannon, yes. Two, three, four, five, six of them actually. And the help is moving for bombard cannons, taking down villages now. Gonna start to take down more buildings. Plate and armor coming, leather archer armor for uh, a few guilds as well. Looking quite okay. Still a lot of holes, but so many military units from Knife. He's got almost 60. And Fionor is only now starting the hand cannon protection. It's not gonna be enough. The relics uh, are out of the monastery here. I'm sure if you could rescue some of them to the back. But Knifer in map control right now is looking good here. Taking the gold to the left hand side while he can. Wild is on the attack and the helmet is moving in. And they're gonna start and raid actually. Which you know you don't want, to, uh, want them to do, but that army numbers, that's the best they can do. The bomber's gonna move it on. Fionor was too slow. He uh, 
has 7 archer ranges to produce and premiers. Two of them will go down immediately, and he's just not gonna be able to catch up with the healthiest and hand is in numbers. In sheer numbers is the problem. Castle coming up very defensive, not even protecting the main goal, just to have one, I guess. And this is not the perfect for the first game. He a very, very sudden GG here. Mm, five archer ranges remaining, and there's three still for Brickens, five for Brickens already. More coming in probably, that's number six actually. Archer range coming up forward. A lot of idle villagers, four Fionor, knife for one or two villagers working, no idle. At all, just looking really good. This cast us up, but what is this going to protect? Few farms here, and uh, then again, the hand cleaners could break those. A good number of hand cleaners here in the middle. A few hand cleaners for Tion now as well, but I don't think they're gonna be able to do too much damage. 60 military units only, still triple for Knifer, and he's going for more bombard cannons. He should take down those archers really fast. Ooh, not even. Um, Guarding this uh, hand cannon is not looking. No situation coming up. Stable going down next, and uh, this could be GG any minute now because life will really be so far ahead. Everything. But look at the score 9k against 6k, roughly. And more changes going down. Fionor won't be fast enough to rebuild those. He won't be able to get the units out. This is a matter of seconds now. For the GG, I guess. I don't see a way back from him. If he's coming back from that, oh, that will be legend. But. How are you going to do it? 49 military units. I guess Knifer is floating in resources. No, not really, but look at this. There's the Chi Chi coming in. Hope you enjoyed this first game. See you in the second one. Very good one, in my opinion. Interesting to see that Knifer, I don't think he's 2k. I, I still don't know. Maybe I'm going to look it up. But managing to beat Fionor on the first game. See you next game. Chi Chi.